Yo, what's up guys, AJC here, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Conor McGregor making fun of Jake Paul and exposing him. But you're gonna wanna watch till the end because Logan Paul ends up getting mad at Jake Paul for what he is doing. But before we get into it, if you want more videos on the Jake Paul and Conor McGregor beef, make sure you like this video, and if we can hit 5,000 likes, then I'll make a part two as soon as possible. Also, if you want more YouTube news like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that red button down below. But besides that, let's get straight into today's story. So as we all know, Jake Paul has been trying for the past couple of weeks to get Conor McGregor's attention to accept his $50 million fight. Logan has been able to land the fight of a lifetime where he will be going head to head with the undefeated pro boxer Floyd Mayweather, and Jake is trying to follow in his footsteps. Jake has done everything to get Conor's attention by calling him out on social media, attacking some of Conor's closest friends, and lastly, only following McGregor's wife on Instagram. Now, although everyone would know who would win in a fight between Jake and Conor, on the Impulsive podcast, Logan asked Jake why he decided to choose Conor as his next target fight, and this is what he had to say. <laughs> Do you think you, a YouTubing boxer, has any chance of getting in the ring with one of the greatest professional fighters on the planet? First of all, I'm a rapper boxer. <laughs> so, uh, second of all, uh, yes, 100%. What would make you think that that's even possible? <laughs> yes, Says the guy who is talking to uh, Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> uh, bro, he's, he's shorter. Um, he weighs like 170 pounds. I weigh 210 naturally. He's five, he's five, nine. My reach is longer. Uh, he gets gassed. First of all, he's out of his prime. I'm coming into my prime in the next 36 months of boxing every single day. So the first advantage Jake Paul thinks he has is his height. Jake Paul stands around six foot while Connor is only 5'9", and if you haven't realized already, every fighter Jake Paul has fought has been 5'9 and under. Dude can't even verse someone his own height. Connor has fought fighters such as Nate Diaz that is six foot and above, and if Jake thinks that he has a big advantage being a couple of inches taller, Jake is about to get hit to the canvas so hard. I also love how Jake Paul says Connor McGregor is coming out of his prime as if he ain't still athletic and can still knock anyone out in the UFC roster. I know Mike Tyson is retired, but I don't think anyone wants to get near his punches. Kay KSI even said in an interview that he regrets saying that he can take old Mike Tyson, and Jake, your prime is versing three non-real boxers who are all under 5'9", so it's safe to say that he's getting ahead of himself. Conor McGregor has had more fights than me. He may be more experienced, Absolutely. but you want to know You want to know something? Yeah, all right. This fight with Mike Tyson is, uh, is going to be one of the biggest pay-per-views ever. It's on pace to be the biggest boxing event ever. So uh, business-wise and selling from a selling pay-per-view standpoint, uh, Connor's in second place to me, so to Mike Tyson. <clears throat> so, but oh. being a being a part of being a part of that event, it, 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 this is a business at the end of the day, and you know, at, at, you can't just be if, in the group project and do nothing <laughs> and then take credit for the group project. But. Okay, so this dude was an undercard for a Mike Tyson pay-per-view fight, and he thinks he was the reason this fight outsold Conor McGregor's. Guys, I've never seen a more delusional man in my life, and if he thinks that this is true, then you're basically saying that Nate Robinson is a bigger boxer than Conor, since he was involved too with the fight, but you don't see him flexing that he can sell out arenas boxing. But moving on from all of his talking, as we all know, Conor hasn't said one word about Jake Paul. However, he was recently in an interview a couple of weeks ago and talks about people trash talking him and his response to those fighters. So here's what he had to say. The way the, the, way the fans kind of try and downplay who you fought or something, or you haven't fought this guy yet, or you ain't done that. If you think of it like a mirror, that man or that person who's writing this or saying this, him, he himself is projecting his own insecurities because that man would have not even fought anyone on planet Earth. So he's saying, you ain't done this, you ain't done that, when really it's his own thoughts that he ain't done this or ain't done that on any scale. So it's just, it's like a mirror. So, you know, I just see it, you know, as, as long as your own self is right, everything else around you will become right and that's it. So although Connor doesn't directly reference Jake Paul, we all know Connor knows who he is. Everyone on Twitter spams in Connor's comments about Jake and even Jake himself does it as well. But like what Connor said in the interview, Jake is doing all these antics because of his insecurities. It's like a mirror, he said. I talked about this last video, but Jake needs this fight more than Connor needs it and that's just facts. No matter if Jake offered him 75 or 100 million, Connor doesn't really need the money or the extra clout. Jake on the other hand needs this for more clout and make more money in the boxing scene. And because this is supposedly his passion for life. And if Conor ignores him and lets the hype dwindle away, then Jake will be left to fight no one and his boxing career will be over as well. Unlike Floyd that even though he thinks he's doing a great thing by fighting Logan Paul, Logan is the one winning in this situation as he gains more popularity in the sport of boxing. Logan knows that his chances of beating Floyd Mayweather 
is slim, but he knows that in the long run that it will help his popularity in the future. Connor continues to say this though in the interview. Of course, and I, I've been reactive to it external, and even now with all the things that's going on with me in the fight business, say again, I don't want to talk about the fight business, that's no problem. I appreciate that also, it's a different conversation. Yeah, it's, 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 the, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an attempt at getting you, getting a reaction, getting you to like, like bait, like bait on a fishing rod. You know, they want to draw out a reaction to, sh to paint your character or yourself in a different way, to see you go a different route. But it's like, as long as you're yourself and you're strong and you're, you know, like I said, leading from, leading from the top, you know, it's like, it's it's non-existent. You're not reactive, you're creative. Connor is probably one of the kings of trash talk in UFC history. So don't think that for a second that the trash talking Jake Paul is doing is affecting Connor in any way because he can see right through it. Yes, Jake has a bad rep for being not really a good guy, but at the same time, this is not how Jake acts. He's doing all this to get a reaction and to get Connor to take the bait on fighting him. But Connor being the smarter man knows it's better to leave Jake on scene because the more they talk about Jake Paul, the more popular he becomes and that's not what they want but Dana White on the other hand had no care and called out Jake Paul directly in an interview and this is what he had to say the answer to that question is who gives a shit, okay right. neither one of these guys can fight it's 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 all a, a big gimmick and you know like I said in a press conference there's there's a there's a market for that if people are dumb enough to spend their money watching that I mean I don't know what to tell you good good luck to them uh but I don't even, you know, the, the guy's talking. I, I could care less with that guy. I get it. He's trying to make some money and doing his thing. And, th and there's people out there that want to spend the money on that. I'm not that guy. So Dana White just went full savage mode and pretty much called everyone an idiot who decided to watch the Jake Paul and Nate Robinson fight. And I was one of those people. So I'm low-key offended. Nah, but on a serious note, I understand Dana's frustration, especially after Jake Paul continues to try and make fun of him and the UFC. But Dana also called out Logan as well. And Logan was pretty upset that he was getting hate when Jake is doing all the talking. So this is what Logan had to say on his latest podcast. Another thing I don't like about it, besides like everything, is uh, bro, he, he pissed I off. I love he, your moments when you do that. He shit. pissed off Dana White, yo. Oh, he's been going real hard on Dana. So White. hard on Dana White, and now Dana has like grouped us together, which which sucks. Which sucks. Oh, I dude. saw that. Dana, I, bro, Dana I love White. Dana White. <laughs> I love Dana White. I love the UFC, and now Dana's mad at me because he thinks we're the same person. I saw the meme. I saw the meme where you guys think we're those two brothers. <laughs> Come on, I got it. I got it right here. What's that? What's that movie? Hey, is he? Is he the guy who's Dumb and Is it Dumb and Dumber? <laughs> right? No, no, this one. Oh, I know what you people think. Oh, shit, I Boston. know you think we're these people. Step, is that Step Up? <laughs> you got served. I mean, <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck. We're so different. We're so different. And 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 I I love the UFC fights. I want to I want to do a UFC fight one day. Like I'm not saying now. Like you know, let me get my skills up. Uh, so what do you have to say to Dana? <laughs> Dana, take me back. <laughs> take, take me back. I'm not Jake. Please. I, I, he, bro, he's given me tickets to go to UFC fights before. Like, fuck. Fuck. He just ruined a relationship. All of them. Because he called I love Conor McGregor, dude. So Logan doesn't seem too happy that Jake ruined Logan's relationship with Dana White and the rest of the UFC. But maybe a Logan Paul versus Jake Paul fight may happen sooner than we thought. But let me know down in the comments what you thought of today's video. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you soon.